Insights from Neuroscience, Exploring Highly Sensitive Persons' Use of Knowledge Visualization, a study by Sabrina Brishani and Sebastian Kenbach presented at the Information Visualization 25th International Conference. Sensory Processing Sensitivity, or SPS, is a characteristic found in people with highly sensitive brain who process visual stimuli with more intensity. A person with SPS is considered a highly sensitive person and is characterized by a deeper processing of stimuli, which leads the person to pay more attention to details, be able to detect subtle changes, but also to be more easily overstimulated and overwhelmed. Therefore, because the sensitivity influences how people interpret and process images, we believe SPS is relevant for the discipline of information visualization, even more so since recent insights from neuroscience demonstrate that about one-fourth of humans and animals have a highly sensitive brain. With the purpose of providing an overview of potential implication of SPS for this field, we take a two-step approach. We first review existing studies and we then conduct an exploratory study. The review led to interesting insights and the seven different studies are briefly presented here. In this first study, participants were asked to notice differences between pictures that had either major or minor visual changes. Results showed that areas of some highly sensitive person's brains the areas involved with higher order visual processing were increasingly activated. In addition, the higher a participant scored on the high sensitivity scale, the longer they took to respond to minor changes. The second study on the brain activity of Americans and Asians revealed that there were little differences between brain activities of highly sensitive people in both cultures. This indicates a less culturally biased processing of visual information for highly sensitive individuals. The authors suggest, in light of these results, that highly sensitive individuals process stimuli more deeply and independently of the cultural norms they are embedded in. We also reviewed a few studies on people's neural responses to images. They confirm that highly sensitive people have an increased activation of some areas of the brain the areas involved with attention, emotion, and cognition. They also suggest that they have a bias toward the processing of positive emotions and process positive images more deeply. SPS has been associated with increased creativity. In a laboratory study, participants' creativity was measured and a significant correlation was found between sensitivity and creativity. Finally, it should be noted in relation to this prior finding that almost half of sensitivity differences between people are influenced by a genetic component, and a study found that there are three genetically heritable components of sensitivity. This might suggest that there are different types of sensitivity, which could be a particularly relevant path to investigate for what concerns visualization, and specifically the component of aesthetic sensitivity, which seems closely related to the visualization and image processing. Despite these studies, which show the effect of sensory processing sensitivity on aesthetics and on the reception of images, to the best of our knowledge, there are no studies specifically investigating sensitivity's effect on information and knowledge visualization. We thus aim to start filling this gap by investigating the effect of sensory processing sensitivity on knowledge visualization. It has been theorized, but not yet tested, that highly sensitive people are more creative and can benefit more from structuring information into knowledge maps compared to text. We thus explore this assumption with an explorative qualitative study, which seemed informative given the scarcity of existing studies, and we aim to identify potential differences in the use of knowledge visualizations depending on people's SPS. We thus conducted a qualitative analysis of the visual artifacts contained in reports created by master students attending a semester-long course based on the design thinking methodology in a Swiss university. SPS was measured at the end of the course along with some other variables. From the questionnaires we collected, 
We computed the HSP index and assigned the top 30% to the high sensitivity group. Both groups were similar in terms of age, but the highly sensitive group had an overrepresentation of females. We then analyzed the data with open coding with the aim to identify and classify the type of knowledge visualizations created by participants in their reports. The exploratory analysis of the visual artifacts contained in the reports led to detect some differences between the high and low sensitive participants. We find an approximately equal use of mind maps for high and low sensitive individuals, but a much more frequent use of visual metaphors and icons for highly sensitive individuals. We also find a more permanent use of colors. On the contrary, less sensitive people created linear diagrams more often. Our exploratory study makes a contribution to the information and knowledge visualization field by providing theoretical and preliminary empirical evidence that SPS influences the typology of knowledge visualizations that people use. In addition, the literature review provides indication that highly sensitive people might process information and knowledge visualization differently. Therefore, we propose that sensitivity should be considered a potential important moderator of visualization's effectiveness, which can be easily measured with a validated scale. Failing to consider that about 25% of the population has a more sensitive brain might lead information and knowledge visualization researchers to find less significant results in their studies. As a conclusion, we provide potential proposition and methodologies for testing the effect of sensitivity on visualization's reception. A quantitative study in the form of a questionnaire could test whether highly sensitive people prefer information to be displayed with visual metaphors compared to linear diagrams and text, and the opposite proposition for low sensitive people. Secondly, further experimental studies could assess the preference for different kinds of visualizations by exposing subjects to the same content in different formats and compare participants' subjective preferences as well as objective performances. Finally, as we found that highly sensitive people seem to use more colors and pay more attention to the layout, it also seems relevant for the information and knowledge visualization community to investigate subjects' aesthetic preferences depending on their SPS score. And with this, we would like to thank you for your attention and we look forward to your comments and feedback.